in cultured pearls, two meters of. I mean, move over Chanel, move over Dior, move over Tiffany's and Co. You could create the most beautifully decadent uh, pearl jewelry like this at a fraction of the cost. Now I'm gonna start with the pearls which, Hannah, you've also used. I'm going to bring this over. I, I ought to say as well, I haven't actually started the pearls from my second kit, so all of the pearls in all of that jewellery and all of what, what I've got here on my demo board are the first. It's one kit. So, so <laughs> all, all of that... It just keeps on giving. Yeah, was from one kit. Amazing. Yeah. I love this. I like the fact that you've got, in these cultured pearls, you've got the little characteristics that showcase that they are the... A genuine cultured like pearl. It, yeah. Well, you know the challenges of sourcing pearls at the moment. You know that post-pandemic, unfortunately, a lot of the pearl harvests were lost. That's why. Logical? Does that make sense? Logical? Um, that's why the price of pearls has gone up post-pandemic and also um, the Chinese market, are, 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 as always, lapping up uh, this beautiful, beautiful gemstone. What do you need with pearls? Most of us would, would agree you need your silks. The only way to get hold of these colours um, is actually in this kit. Now, weirdly, I actually went on to eBay the other day because I couldn't get hold of any silk um, here at Jewellery Maker. And they're not, you know, they're not overly expensive, but when you start putting multiple cards in there, it soon tops up, doesn't it? It does, it does. Yeah. Um, and this is the exact silk that I was buying. I realised and appreciated just how competitive our savings are. Yeah. Um, when you start buying kits. Still not done. How beautiful because you will notice, and I'm gonna position these in a certain way. Hang on. Ben. Come on, play ball, be good. <laughs> and then, have you spotted it yet? And then. Have you spotted it? They're all matching. You have black spinel for your black silk. You have garnet for your red silk. You have peridot for your green. And then you have a beautiful topaz to go alongside the blue. Hannah, these box class are stunning. They are beautiful, aren't they? Really are. Oh, wow, look at that. And if you think about pearl jewelry that you may well have seen on Antiques Roadshow, they're on a box class, aren't they? Yeah. Because they're very strong. And they, and they last. And they last. Um, and there's kind of that classic vintage look. I love this kit. I want to buy this kit. Um, how many do we have? A hundred. Am I going to miss out? Potentially. These, neck, these bracelets are absolutely beautiful. If you want the nuggets, we've got those coming up separately. But look, look, look at this. Look how amazing that bracelet is. When you, do, when you put that little video on, uh, on social media, I was like, oh, I love it. <laughs> the, the Absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go straight down. We're not going to mess around. Two metres, two metres of your pearls. Sterling silver box clasps and all your silk. Straight away, you're there. They're not, you know, not just any sterling silver box clasps. They're encrusted with a round, brilliant cut. How much? Quarter of the stock's already gone. 50 of you have it in your baskets. You want this kit. Brand new. The only way to get each and every single one of these components is within Hannah's Masterclass kit. The only way. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called Quad. Genuine Cultured Pearls. Carola, Janice, Yvonne, Charmaine, Tyne and Ware, Cambridgeshire, Gail, Deborah, Agnes, uh, Sorry, Cheshire, I can't keep up with you. Kalisha, nice to be with you. We had 100, but they are absolutely flying. The only thing I actually need to add here, Hannah, is a, is a, is a needle. Uh, well, so if you're using the silk, then it's got a needle on it anyway. Oh, yes. Um, so that, that's already included. Um, so you, you, could, you can absolutely make something on its own. Um, the only thing I've done with, um, I think it was the blue pearl. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one that I've, I've knotted and then I've added a, a little bit, I think I've added a little bit of French wire just to protect the silk around the end. Yeah, which you would. Um, that's, that, that's it and then the rest of it's uh, clasp and, and pearls, yeah. So it's not just one strand, Hannah, it's, it's two metres. 
it, there's so many pearls that like literally you can adorn yourself in them it's Love that. Like, fabulous it's like <laughs> well coco chanel uh, chanel said every woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls and you deserve them at under 100 pounds for the entire kit I mean, for the pearls alone at £100, that's amazing. For the fact that you're getting four sterling silver box clasps, which are gem encrusted, what? So not even £99.99. Oh, my goodness me. I'm useless <laughs> at maths. One, two, three, four. Five. Let's call the, sil the silks one as well. Six. Six components. So that's talking, at, talking about £11.66 each. £11.66 for those sterling silver clasps. £11.66 for your, for your two metres of pearls. It's, it's just phenomenal, isn't it? I, I, I love the value of this. I love the fact that the colours match. Yes. If you, were, if you want to, a box clasp, it, there's a reason why you see them on Antiques Roadshow. It's because they are known to be one of the strongest clasps. It's kind of like a doorstop. You have to press it down. And obviously, as a, uh, when it's a finished piece of jewellery, you'll have much more purchase. So you, can you see it there? But there's a pendant if you wanted it to be. If you wanted it to be, they will click into place six components. You have the, 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 the areas for you to double strand onto. Um, so if you wanted to create, you know, your uh, Jackie Kennedy pearl necklace inspiration, your Grace Keller, uh, Kelly. What is wrong with me? I can't talk today. Why is there a clock on our screens? You're going to round it off? <gasps> $69.99. You're going to take it to 10 pa No. Purely because it's been such a lovely, beautiful, busy day. Completely unplanned. Very spontaneous. We're going to take two metres of genuine culture pearls to under £10. <laughs> Not one metre, two <laughs> metres. Yeah. That's four necklaces and two bracelets in pearls, culture pearls. Mm, uh, anybody that's got a business, you're going to go nuts for this. Absolutely nuts for it. I mean, that, that's what I would do. You'd twist it as well, couldn't you? Have yeah. A big pearly twist. Look a pearly that. twist? Look at that. That's what I would do. Put it on one of those clasps. You've still got you've still got components left over, and I've put all of the different coloured silks, one on each of those strands. Fifty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. You can get it home on your split pay for nineteen ninety nine. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, if you were to sell these bracelets, how much would you sell them for? Don't be silly now, because I always tell Claire McDonald off for her pricing. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? I genuinely, I, I don't know because, I, I mean, it depends on where you're selling as well. But yeah, get that. The class alone, surely. They're gemstones. They're not cubic circulars. I know. Are we, I mean. I we, mean, even if you to... said, oh, can I be really conservative? Even if I said £60 for this, which you shouldn't. Even if I said that, £60 for this one bracelet, you've got all the rest. You've got all the rest. That's the necklace. That's more pearl bracelets. And you've said you've still got pearls left over. That's a garnet and pearls. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, any questions that you have for Hannah, do feel free to text us because we are live in the studio. Hannah, take it away. What are you going to show us a little cocktail of techniques, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so I, 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 because I had so many different things to play about with, um, mm -hmm. I was asked to try and incorporate seed beads with them as well. Okay. Um, so I was going to show the, the, the long tassel necklace. Um, however, I might show you the, the tassel and the, and the beady bead and then explain where you would then bead it and then perhaps switch to how you'd include the clasps on something, yeah. if that's all right. Take it away. Um, so I've done, a, I've done a Blue Peter styly <laughs> thing to start with um, because... Too. Sorry, I just really Yes, yeah, there's, there's a whole tube of seed beads. So <laughs> I didn't even I, mention that. <laughs> so um, I've got a little macrame board. I might just pop that on there, on the top, Ooh, I like just, that. Ju just because <coughs> th this alone can take, can take a little bit of time, <coughs> um, because what I've done, I've, like, the black seed beads I've included myself, mm -hmm. um, but the silver ones are part of the kit, and then what I wanted to do was make a tassel, but a different kind of tassel, 
So I've used, um, a, I don't know if you can see, like a macrame board there. I've used a T-pin and just tied the end there. And then I've started threading on my, uh, my beads. And I've got to the point where I've wrapped it several times. So if you can un unwrap it slightly and you can see. So this is all on the, on the silk. So what, what I wanted to do is make multiple loops. So I've got one, two, three, four complete loops. And then I can add a few more to it to make the fifth. And what I'm trying to do is bring it back to this point. Um, I have got a little crimp bead on there, but you, you could just tie it. But I'm just going to add a few more beads to this. So if I remove that and go to here, mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop that over there because it's a, a tricky thing to sort of to show. But uh, effectively, I just need to pick up from where I've left off and just add a few more of these beads. So I'm just going to add some seed beads on to the end of the needle that's already on the thread. And I'm just alternating. And uh, as you can see from earlier, this is it's so much easier to pick up seed beads when there's a needle involved. Um, so literally just alternating because I wanted to have like a dramatic kind of um, drop to it. So again, thinking sort of like, I guess sort of flapper girl style again and, and then like a long and glamorous necklace. And there's, there's a lot of trends for um, marlas and things like that at the moment. So I think people are gen generally sort of experimenting with, with jewellery at the moment and they're, they're trying different lengths of jewellery and I, I, I like long necklaces or big bold necklaces so I'm going to thread these down like that it's tricky because I've got on two boards so I will I'm going to add on enough beads and then I'm going to bring this board back up to position so I'm going to add probably need another another sort of inch or so of these beads so just starting off with that you can see it's literally just threading them, so nice and simple. And then the beauty of um, jewellery making is that you can, you can take all the basic uh, techniques, if you like, and then you can stick them together. So you can, you can learn very basic techniques, even if you've never do, done jewellery before. And then once you've got a few of them, you can then combine them. So this is a number of different basic techniques turned into <coughs> one sort of glamorous looking necklace. I think we're nearly there with the number of beads. You can see why I threaded most of it already, because it's essentially that over and over and over again. So have I got enough now to bring that board back in? Turn it that way around. I think so. There we go. So just, so just brought it probably fractionally long. So what I did with that one is I've got a little crimp bead there when I started. If you haven't got one, you can undo this end and, and just attach it. And then I, I'm going to pass my needle through. So you're making one continuous loop. So if you were to take these pins out, it would just be one great big long necklace. Pass that through there. And then I want to crimp that in position. So I'm going to have to turn this around so I can get my crimp pliers towards it. And just pliers galore. Here we go. And I might actually have to take it off there to crimp it. So, I don't want to lift it too far because I want to keep the tension there. So it's a little bit, a little bit fiddly. You can just tie a knot if you want to, but I just added the crimp because that's what I did originally. So I'm just going to that in there it's fiddly because I've still got it attached so there's a little bit of a gap there okay and then I'm going to use a little crimp cover can you see that from where it is just about if I borrow that hopefully I can get that to slot in And I'm trying to do it while it's all in situ, but I'm thinking I might have to come back to that a little bit. Oh, no, there we go. So you're trying to get the little crimp to sit inside. And then I'm just going to squeeze that together gently. And then that's just securing it. It's just securing it. You could just tie a knot if you wanted to. I just like the idea of, of it all sort of looking the same. Right. And then I'm going to release it <laughs> from one end. Release the beads. Release the beads. 
And then I want to use pliers again and a jump ring. So if you've got some of those sterling silver jump rings from earlier, then they'd be fabulous, but you can use base metal ones as well. And then I want to pop that through. Can you see that? So that all of them are in the jump ring. Okay. Pop that there for the minute. Then, putting that aside for a second, I'm going to take a toggle clasp and I'm going to pinch the, um, the round section of it. I quite like doing this with necklaces because I like the, the shape and I think it gives it a nice little finish. I'm just trying to find the little, little split like that. Take this off. So essentially that's what I'm after. And then the jump ring that I've attached on here, <coughs> excuse me, I want to hook through there. So again, two pairs of pliers, making sure that's open, and then I'm just going to pop that through and close it. Okay, then I can release the other end, and then I just want to actually secure just want to do a little knot just in case and just make sure it's right next to it so between the crimp cover and the first seat bead just doing a little <coughs> extra knot are you struggling love ah oh, it's post covid I'm assistant still, aren't they yeah these coughs snuffles and yeah Okay, so getting rid of these. So this is like the end tassel. That's lovely. It's a lovely twist on a tassel. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's a just a little bit different. So it's this one's slightly longer because of the way I've attached it, unfortunately. So I, I would recommend you can move it backwards and forwards because it's one sinuous loop. But if I start doing that, we could be here for ages. Um, so I'm just going to continue with that. So that's my tassel waiting to be added. And then I'm going to do uh, your classic beady bead with some of the pearls. So if I get rid of some of these things. Has that unthreaded itself? So I'm just going to use um, some wild bar thread for this one. And I'm going to use 12, only 12 of these um, pearls to make a beady bead. But I quite like them because it's a nice um, sort of topper to the tassel. So, can we see? Let's have a look. Let's bring them down. So, if I start off one, two, and three of these, let them fall to the middle. So, I've got two needles on my thread. Let them fall to the middle. Then take another one, and you're going to do a crisscross. So, needle through in one direction first, and then needle through in the opposite direction to make a section. like that and then you're going to take another pearl on each side get hold of it and it's funny when I was thinking when I'd um, when I'd made that I could, could you could perhaps um, incorporate seed beads around it as well if you wanted to add to the sort of the black and whiteness if you like <laughs> so pass that I like through. that though I like the um, fact that it's monochrome. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things. It's like, um, because, because it's just so many, so many pearls, like you can, you can make one massive piece of jewellery or you can make lots of little pieces. So I was just, again, sort of playing. So again, this is another one of these techniques that you, like you start off, like when you're first learning, you'll learn to do this and then you can use it to embellish tassels like this or you can use it for components in, the, in its own right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then this one tied itself in a knot. Put that back there. Put the last two on. So you're making a little sort of, well, it, it is literally a ladder of um, beads. But then you turn this into a, th a little 3D component. Again, something I like doing, taking smaller components and making larger ones with them. So when you get to that point, you're then going to cross through the first pearl again. 
passing it through. Like that, and pulling it tight, and then so you get your little curl like that. And then you want to reinforce this as well, because at the moment it's quite sort of floppy and squishy. So if you imagine that's your, that's your centre part and these are, the, like, these are like the wheels on the side, you need to make sure your wheels don't fall off your wagon. <laughs> so you're going to go through all of those outside pearls to reinforce it. Okay, all the way through each one. Could I do this with the silk as well that's in the kit? Um, you can, but um, it, it depends on if you want to use the silk for knotting and things like that. Um, because I was just using this as an embellishment, yeah. Um, and I was you kept your silk for. I the kept my silk for, for like the knotted bracelet. Um, and obviously, I, I'm trying to think how long the, the silk is on the cards. Does it actually say how many <coughs> meters? Excuse me, two what meters, yards? I think. Two. So I've used, yeah, I've used a combination of things because I've used the silk for some of the <coughs> bracelets and then um, I've used some normal threading materials and I've used some seed beading material. So it's a real sort of fusion of, of jewellery making techniques, I suppose. Passing it through. So again, I, I, don't want, I don't want it to be too loose. So I've got to the point where I've reinforced the, the, the wheels on my wagon, as we, talk, as we said earlier, and then I'm just going to bring this side round so that it comes to here and I can tie it off. So I'm going to pass that through into there, and then I can do a normal double knot. So passing the needle through twice, pulling that tight, and you can keep reinforcing that as, as many times as you like until, until you're happy that it's secure. I'll just do one more knot and then I just want to check it's strong enough. Okay. Yeah. So if you, um, when I say check it's strong enough, I mean sort of squish it about and check that it's going to hold its form. When you're happy with that, you could add a dab of glue if you wanted to. Um, pass your threads back through a couple of the pearls before you trim them away and that just ensures that all the tails are tucked in and neat. Pass that one through there. And give it a little trim. So I get my scissors. And just trim them nice and close. And then if I get rid of those. So the next thing I've done is I, I've um, added a couple of spacer beads. You could probably use another, another couple of pearls if you wanted to. And I'm going to use them to help me secure my tassel through this and then start adding on um, other pearls and do some threading. So if I unravel that. So this is just beading thread and I'm going to cut that with my flush cutters. Clip that off there. And then I'm just going to get rid of that very end bit was kinked where it had been on the reel. So just trim that away. And I'm going to do, again, another basic technique is um, a lark's head knot. So if you take your thread and you fold it in half, you find the centre point. So, so you've got two ends and you've got a loop like that. And then we're going to pass two ends through the small part of your toggle here. Like that. And then I'm going to feed it through the loop at the other end to trap it in position in the middle. So that's now secure. And then I've used a spacer bead to disguise that. So again, you could use um, a pearl, but you may need to ream it if you're going to put um, two pieces of, of thread through it, because some, sometimes the drill holes can be a little bit tighter and they can get dust in them, things like that. So you've got options basically. And then I'm going to pass both ends, I'm going to clip that off as well, both ends of that through my little component that I've made, like that. Pull it down, so I've chosen a spacer bead that will fit sort of inside it. And then another one at the top. So that gives you your, your sort of little tassel. 
And then it's just a case of threading on beads to make the rest of it. So if I take one of my beads, and for the first one, I just want to thread these in opposite directions through the middle, if I can. There we go. And I'm going to pull these like this. Make sure that's in the middle. Because this hopefully will then lock it all into place. But I do want to make sure it's in the middle. Like that. There we go. And then for the rest of that particular necklace, it's just a case of threading on. So I think I've started off with a few seed beads because I wanted to give the pearls a bit of space so they didn't bash into each other. So if I did one, two, three, and then alternate um, pearls and, se and seed beads so that you get a pattern. And it's entirely up to you what you do pattern-wise, whether it's just all the same or whether you're going to alternate. And for this one, because I've used some black and some silver between my pearls, I'm going to do that a little bit just to show you like that. If I do three of the silvers and then use the black ones to sort of um, space out the pearls, it just gives it a little bit of um, breathing space, as I say. It also helps your eye to follow the design. So, one, two, and three. And then another one. So you can continue making your pattern, and you can make that as long as you like. And then three of these on the other side. One, two, and three. So you can see you can see how you'd progress with this. But just do the other side so it matches. And then rather than bead the whole necklace, I want to switch to another technique of how you attach your clasps as well, if I have time. I think I have. Yeah, yeah. Good. As much as you need. Okay. We have got another kit as well, but when you're ready. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just thinking, because I've used these lovely box clasps, um, I ought to show how to attach them. So, one, two, I'm just making this symmetrical so you can see how I'm going with that. And three more of the silvers, and then a couple more of the pearls. And it's just a case of alternating. So like, you don't have to <coughs> follow this pattern. You, you don't even have to... I mean, I've added the <coughs> beads in just because I liked the contrast. Um, also, because I was thinking if, you, if you're not particularly um, keen on pearl knotting, you can use seed beads of the same colour with the clasps as well. So some of the... Oops, <coughs> that was a silver one. Um, some of the bracelets I've done, I've used... I've done not, Well, the blue one I've knotted and the other ones I've added um, seed beads that are colours that are of the same clasp. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm literally looking at them. You, as you're, you're having a look. Way. So the blue is knotted, so, yeah, and the others have the seed beads. Have seed beads, which I've just taken from a sash. So, hello, Elizabeth, saying fabulous demo, Hannah. Thank you. As always. Ah, oh, thank you. I, always. I always, I always worry because it's um, whenever you're doing something like this, you like you, you have to appeal to everybody. So I'm trying to include basic techniques in, and yeah. and adding them together so you get a, a more advanced design. But also, it's it's imagination, isn't it? You yeah. Know, you know, it's, yeah. some of the most commercial jewellery is is relatively, you know, you can teach our viewers, but yeah. it's having the imagination to do that. I think so. So am I allowed to now switch and do another another, <laughs> another demo? So you carry on with that. So you make it as long as you like. I tell you what, before you do, let's th let's show the okay. other kit. Okay. Because um, is that all about the, the, the jet, these yes. ones? Yes, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. So if I, so if I do so the demo with one of those kits, then, it, then it's um, going to cover both bases, isn't it? Um, so now that's just uh, just in front of you. You've actually got those so same clasps. Yeah. Let me yes, please. Down. Thank so it's you. The same clasp, but with gemstones this time that match. So yeah, instead of pearls. So there's the four box clasps that you can see. You get uh, three of the cards of silk. Uh, this time with your cobalt blue, black, and what colour would that be described as? Let's have a little look. Uh, it's like a nude. 
It's like a nude tone, which is which is lovely. Uh, you get a tube of your seed beads, and then you have. <laughs> How long's this? Two meters. Six six point five feet of black spinel. Here we go. It's crazy. <laughs> of black spinel. Of beautiful garnet. Of appetite. All of which are two meter lengths. And then you have a strand of beautiful peridot as well. Which, Hannah, you have made these amazing bracelets with. They're cute, aren't they? I, I, I think they're just... They're just something about them. I mean, I've got the red one on as well, so... Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. And I wouldn't have thought to use those box class with the nuggets, but they, they work, don't they? Yeah, but, but also, um, it's kind of like, it's, that's become the feature. So although that's the class, I'm wearing it at the top because I think that's, yeah. that's the bit that I want to see the most. Yeah. You know? Um, and by the way, if you do need things like your um, wire guardians, I can see them before me as well. So I think, uh, I think uh, Ross, you're going to sneak them in as well. Yeah, yeah, so, I should, I should. Um, let's do a special price for you again. So in total... Two, four, six, six metres, six metres plus 38 centimetres of your beautiful gemstones. Um, plus you get the four gla uh, class, box class, which are spinel, topaz, peridot, and also your garnet. The three cards and your seed beads. We're not even stopping at 69.99. Again, would you e sell one of those bracelets at that price tag? Even if I'm being really conservative and said... Black Spinel, $49.99 for that carrot weight. That's amazing. It's, it's fabulous value. It really is. I, lo I love the fact that it all matches. I love the value for money. It's just like this, this absolute win-win kits. Well, that's just over £10 just for the classes on their own. £12.50 per class. They are gemstone embellished, not cubic zirconia. They are genuine gemstones. Uh, and you're getting your cards, and you're getting your tube of Mayuki, and you're getting all the however many thousand carrots that you've got here. And it is in the thousands. It, yeah, I can see. Simple mass. You've got 310 carrots of your, uh, of your appetite, 650 carrots of your egg garnet, 590 carrots of black spinel, and 80 carrots of your red dragon peridot. And the carrot weight in your class. Wow. You get it home on, for £16.66 on your split pay. It's amazing, isn't when it? When you are ready. Okay, so um, I'm going to go with the, the black because I, I think you were just talking about that. Yeah. And um, I've got my um, silk on the needle and I've got a little bit of French wire, which you, you can use as an alternative to the, the wire guardians mm -hmm. that we've got coming up. You probably only need about a centimetre. Yeah. And all that does is just protects the end of your thread. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to thread on um, a crimp bead. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to say one. Yeah. Um, sorry, Ross was just asking what millimetre the French wire is, so uh, um, that he can hopefully bring it to air for you. It's gone straight from the stash, you see, rather than from a, a labelled container. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've threaded these down to the end of my silk. I'm going to pass it through one of the loops. Oops. Actually, on the clasp. And then I'm going to pass the end of the needle back through the crimp bead. So miss out the, the French uh, wire or your guardian, whatever you're using. Pass it through there. And then what this will do is make a little sort of um, horseshoe shape of protective wire around the end of your silk. Like that. So it just gives it a little bit more strength. You can kind of see there. And then what I want to do is um, actually crimp that in position. Let me tie a knot first so that it stays still. Like that. And then again, get my crimping pliers. Make sure that's securely in place before you crimp it. So again, crimping pliers have got two lots of... Um, notches in the jaw so you use the one that makes the divot first and then you use the second one which then folds it in on itself if I come out shot sorry there we go folds it flat Try and loop that in. so it's nice it's nice and secure it looks okay but then it's I, I think it's nicer if you if you've got like a little crimp cover as well 
So this just makes it look like a little bead. So again, it's all, all illusions, but makes your work look really sort of tidy. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that in on itself gently. Like that, so it looks like a little bead. Okay, and then I'm going to start adding on some of my pearls which I've pinched from the other kit, and then the nuggets as an alternative as well. So I'm going to thread that through. And then I'm going to get my board back with the T-pin. Actually, I'm not it, I think. I was just going to add it on, but if I've got time. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not not? Why not not? Right, it's so very therapeutic to watch you, Hannah. Pin in there. Oh, I'm glad you say that. So I'm just going to tie a, a, a knot around my fingers like that and then pass everything that's on the end through it. So it is just an overhand knot, but it's making sure that everything you've added on goes through the loop. Then I'm just using a little T-pin there and I'm going to pop the loop over that and just gently pull that up. And then on the other side, I'm going to be controversial and alternate. So I'm going to thread on one of my gemstones, spinel, like that. And then I'm going to use that to push it against it. And then I pull the pin out and then use the gemstone to push it along, which creates the knot. And then I want to do another knot after it. So again, just an overhand knot and then everything goes through the loop. And then you pop the loop over your pin. And again, you want it to be as close to that gemstone as you can. So I'm just going to make sure I pulled it close before I then tighten it. Pull it like that. And then on the end, I'm going to add a pearl again. So pass the needle through the pearl. And then you use the pearl to push the knot with. like that and then slide the pin out push the pearl and you start to get your knots forming so you can either knot the whole thing or you can add on seed beads so one of the other things I, I've done I might just do I'm just do one more knot there and then add seed beads and it shows you both options passing that through Bring that knot down. I could use the pin in an alternative way <laughs> and go like that. Also, ah. also a way of knotting and then just pushing it to the pearl. So you can either do that or you can use just seed beads and you can simply thread them. So as an alternative, if I carry on, if I do, should I do the silver cassette with the first kit? and the spinel, thread those along. <coughs> so you get a different look, but with the same <coughs> kit. Just feeding them on, <coughs> literally just threading them through. So passing on like this. That's so you get two two different looks, but the, basically what you do either end, you would keep, <coughs> keep adding until you've got enough on here to make your actual bracelet. So if I take one of these, oh, off, you could probably make loads, couldn't you? You you could make absolutely masses. So th you only need a very small amount to to actually make your bracelet. Can I borrow Can I borrow the blue one as well with the yes, one? yeah, yeah, they're your bracelet. Just to just to show the difference. Um, we have put the, some wire end tips, which you saw Hannah actually use the French wire. It's basically the same thing. It's the same thing. You just pass the, the thread through. Um, the, it's, it's like a little horseshoe shape, and you yeah. thread it through, and it does the same thing as the French wire. So that one is just seed beaded on, and that's just with crimp beads. Mm -hmm. And then this one is knotted, so this has got um, a little bit <coughs> of French wire before, for you, before you add your crimp bead, and, and then you knot them all. And then this one was showing you a combination of the two. 
but you, you essentially when you get to the other end, you do the same thing. You can take your um, take your clasp off, put it at the other end, and as long as the holes line up, they will then the, I'll put it there and bring it there. So I just realised it's off the shot there. So as long as this side goes to that side, when you join them together, they will be on the right side. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Oh, yes, yes. So, so yeah, top edge to top edge <coughs> kind of thing. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. Absolutely Is that beautiful. all right? So a bit of a, 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 bit of a tassel. No, a bit but of I love it because bead. that means that we can make, you know, they, we, can, we can make this, we can make these. Yeah, there's so, there's so many different things you can do, but like absolutely, these clasps on their own are amazing. But yes. the gemstones and the amount of pearls you get, a phenomenal. Awesome, absolutely awesome. These are your uh, wire end tips, by the yes. way, for those of you that don't know. They look like a pair of earphones, <coughs> basically. They do, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And you feed your, your, your silk or, or yeah. threading so material through, through one, one side, side, down through the other. That's it. Um, and it just prevents it from actually fraying. Um, okay, I have got time. <coughs> Excuse me. Very quickly, if I don't have another coughing fit, <coughs> to bring you the most amazing pearls. These are the Hint of Lavender Pearls. And on our sister channel, um, they had they actually brought some of the beautiful uh, lavender pearls, naturally coloured like these, um, in finished pieces of jewellery. I know, because uh, I literally picked one piece up and went, oh, it's incredible. It's the most beautiful uh, sort of peachy lavender, lavender single pearl with a halo um, of diamonds all the way around. Um, and what they were basically saying is one of these on a chain is 150 pounds yeah and that's awesome by the way that's an awesome awesome price tag i've got three single opportunities and i'm not about to sit here and tell you that these aren't going to be considered they are however what you are getting is entirely considered you are looking at some of the rarest pearls that physically exist because these i mean that firstly metallic i know we've not mentioned that on there but they have a metallic iridescence they are not bleached and then dyed that beautiful hue of lavender and the gold overtones are all from that wonderful mollusk because of the scale of these and our uh, the graphics actually say what do they say 15 mil 15 to 30 some of these are far larger than those that you know that measurement far larger each and every single one will have their individuality because they are natural. They are completely natural. Get these home, and I would definitely suggest having them valued and appraised to add to your insurance. Naturally coloured, one of the rare most sought after colours of your pearls is that hue of lavender across the surface. Um, you can get this home on split pay for £124.75 or 499 um, I, I, you know, We're very blessed, Hannah. We see some lovely, lovely gemstones here. And I have to say, this is one of my favourite strands of pearls that uh, I've ever they're seen. They're absolutely incredible, aren't they? They're like, they're, like, they're like sort of shooting stars almost. It's like fireballs. Fireballs. They're sometimes yes. called that, fireball like pearls. Yeah, or Brilliant. flame pearls. Um, I'm, I've got to leave that with you because we are running out of time. Now... The last auction of the day, on the back of, of what has been, I told you at the beginning of the show, didn't I? What amazing. has been amazing. Yeah. Look at the, f I, I think this is an admin error. Because natural, coloured, freshwater pearls. So, not bleached, not dyed, natural. Now, as with all of your gemstones, if you can get natural, it is definitely the way to go. And even more than that, Hannah, you're not just getting one strand. You get two of Double them. Double whammy? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> your peachy colours, your golden colours, your ivories. I mean, this alongside your kits would be absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely stunning. I, I mean... How many do we have of these then, Ross? <coughs> How many? There are 80. Are you happy at 49.99? Bear in mind they're natural, let's be honest, let's be realistic, these aren't bleached and dyed. Um, we're gonna do a finale deal of all finale deals. And this is what I mean, I actually think it's an admin error because normally you pay, uh, well, my expectations. I actually brought a kit 
which was natural apricot pearls, and it was £299 because they were natural. So that's why I think maybe this is an admin error. Anyway, it's happening. We've got 80 opportunities. I'd be adding this to my order alongside Hannah's kit. We're cutting that price in half, which is absolutely incredible. £12.50. Um, £12.50 for both strands. Sorry, each strand. £24.99 for the both. That's absolutely unbelievable. Keep dialing through because these are absolutely flying. Well done, Heather, Janice, Maria, Carol, Patricia, Elizabeth, Amy, Jackie, Gail, uh, Neil. Hello to you, Dorset, Patricia, Janet, Kathy, Marcella, Christine. Hello, London, Dorothy, Mer the, uh, Merseyside, Alison, uh, Yorkshire. We're running out of time. Of course we are, but there, are, there were 80. Were were 80 of these opportunities the deal of the day for those of you that have just tuned in was one of the most bonkers sterling silver deals i think we've ever brought to air 79 pounds and 99 pence for 20 sterling silver chains um, we did some price comparisons and yeah well, i couldn't find anywhere that came even remotely close that's working out at three pound 99 per sterling silver chain hannah it has been Mega! It's been an amazing. I've day, loved isn't it. it. Thank you so much for joining that me today. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh we please. can't. We can't wait to see you again. I think we're running out of time, aren't we? We, we are. Yeah, we are. We've got 20 seconds. Good luck on your workshop as well. I thank know you. Yeah, thank you. Check your diaries. When are you back on our screens? Um, I don't know because I, I, I've got to make sure I'm ready for this workshop, and then yes. so it'll probably be next month. Okay. Um, but yes, I'm really looking forward to it. So oh. I hope, hope you're there. Have a wonderful afternoon, but don't go anywhere because Ruth's up on Hobby Maker. <laughs>